Barb is. Money was for essentials, especially after Ugogo had siphoned the amount she needed to support her addictions. Alcohol, tobacco, just general keeping up addictions. After all, she had three daughters every time, and anyone who met her had to know that. When holiday season came, Umamzan took a sekai to the rural areas, the only holiday she could afford for us. My school was one of the most expensive primary schools in Bulawayo, on the edge of the city centre, jokingly called Colgate. Now, Mandeville grasping onto the name Coughlin. Someone in my class had been to Botswana last holiday, others to South Africa. The very basic holidays for the rest of my peers was a tourist destination in Zimbabwe, such as Victoria Falls, Great Zimbabwe, Lake Kariba, Harare. As you can imagine, I never spoke about my holidays, no having money, no running water, no electricity, no toilets, no new clothes, shoes. Might as well have worn a sign saying, please avoid me at all costs in the playground. Embarrassed by my situation, overlooking vital skills gained. Sowing, growing, harvesting, and preserving my own organic food. Carrying water from a well, starting and sustaining a fire for cooking, collecting firewood, the tranquility, peace of mind, quiet. Welcoming. Neighbors greeting us as they passed our gate. The sand. Amadobe. Disappearing into the woodlands whilst picking fruits and berries. Stories told by the fireplace in the night time. The most star-studded night sky you could ever imagine. Yeah, well, thank you.